Over the last few months, I noticed something very interesting. I applied and actually got approved for several credit cards. Now I'm going to teach you a little trick or secret, something that I've noticed over the last few months that actually got me really high credit limits. So here it is. Now let me show you this card first. This is a Capital One Quicksilver. I applied for this card the same time I applied for this new card that I'm going to show you. This is an Apple card. This Capital One credit card, the limit is a lousy $500. But within a couple of days, I applied for this Apple card and the limit is $4,000. Now, let me show you this card right here. It is from BMO Bank. BMO Bank gave me a lousy credit card limit of $500. But within a few days, I applied for the following card, an MGM credit card, MasterCard, and MGM gave me a credit card limit of $7,000. And I have plenty of other cards that follow a similar pattern. Now let's talk about underwriting. Apple is underwritten by Goldman Sachs Bank. MGM is underwritten by FNBO Bank. Bank of the West card is underwritten by Bank of the West. And of course, Capital One is underwritten by Capital One. So, branded cards. Branded cards are cards that companies who wish to issue credit cards, they are not banks themselves. They make an arrangement with the financial institutions in order to have the financial institutions print the cards, then they do all the marketing, and then they come up with a financial agreement as far as what percentage the underlying bank is going to receive and what percentage they're going to receive from customers using the cards. And of course, how do you pick and choose what's a great branded card? Well, in the case of my MGM card, I live in Las Vegas, so gambling that has to do with limousines, hotels, travel, airlines, okay? So you're going to probably get higher limits for that type of card. Apple card, that's associated with iPads, iPhones, high-tech, high-end gadgets. So there's a chance they're going to start you off with a high-limit card. So what are some other type of branded cards that you could apply for without going direct to the bank? The point is, if you go direct to the bank, I've noticed they'll start you off very conservatively with low limit cards. But if you go and get a branded card, like an airline card, maybe Delta, that would be a great idea, except there's a caveat. You see, if you apply directly with American Express, American Express is the underlying bank. So this trick won't work. As you can see, this is a Delta card. What I should have done is actually gone to the airlines directly, like Spirit, which is a shitty airline, or Alaska Air, or American Airlines, and applied directly with them. So for this video, the trick is, from my experience over the last several months, branded cards, instead of applying directly with the underlying bank, will actually give you higher credit limits.